Your Excellency, Reverend Fathers and Reverend Deacons, Brothers and Sisters in Christ. In the 2000 history of our church, there have been religious orders of men who made a peculiar vow of perpetual silence. They were monks living the religious vows, but they made a vow of perpetual silence that a head bow would suffice, a genuflection would be sufficient, but the only thing they could say to one another as a form of greeting was memento mori. Memento mori, roughly translated in English, is remember death. Remember death. When we remember our departed bishops and priests who have served the church in Lingen de Gupan, it is a sobering thought to keep in mind that one day we too will be remembered in this cathedral and we will not become celebrants or presiders in the Eucharist, but one of the faithful departed. Memento mori. Remember death. Death is important not just for our religion. Death was even important for Socrates and Plato. That is why Plato, writing the death of Socrates, said that all philosophy is only this, facing death and living with dying. And Moses reminded his people that it is wise to always remember that your days are numbered. We do not have the infinity of days. Our days are numbered and every beating of our heart, every tick of the clock brings us closer to our last breath. So what does Memento Mori teach us? First, it teaches us to be humble. Vanity of vanities and all is vanity. Today, we remember those who died this year. But who remembers those who died one century ago? Who remembers those who died and honors those who died maybe 50 years ago? They fade away, maybe forgotten, but they are not forgotten by the memory of God. So Memento Mori is a reminder for us, you will die and all of these will end and invest on the right things. You will die, everybody will die. So focus your heart and your soul on the things that are immortal. Memento Mori. When we live happy lives, and uh, the life is abruptly ended or ended in death through sickness, we say, sayang. But there are also deaths that are worth thanking God for. When suffering is too intense, when the pain of the cross is too heavy, the death does not only come as an end to our successes, Death comes to us as a relief. And then we are able to say, Ay, salamat, pahinga na rin. And then we are able to look at death with hope. We are able to look at death as a gift of mercy so that we will not be disturbed by nurses in the hospital anymore. We will not be hurt by gossips and bashers anymore. We will not have to go for medical checkup anymore. Hi, salamat, at rest forever.
Memento Mori keeps us humble. But Memento Mori also gives us hope that all our troubles here on earth will come to an end and there will be a great relief. There will be a great sigh and then we will enjoy eternal life forever. And then we will see the great, great grandparents we never saw here on earth. And then we will see Lorenzo Ruiz. And then we will see the heroes and saints of the church. People we would not have a chance to meet here on earth. We will see in heaven, in the promised life everlasting. But Memento Mori is also a reminder for us, especially priests and administrators, that we must prepare our successors. Because no one is indispensable when you start a mission, prepare to exit. That when you are installed to an office, prepare the office for your successor. Because any success in this world without a successor is actually a failure. We must be able to multiply ourselves and not make ourselves indispensable and not make ourselves feel too important that we cannot be replaced. Because the only one who cannot be replaced is God. Everybody can be replaced. Everything can be rebuilt except the Lord. Successors. Successors are inevitable. When I die, I am sure I will be succeeded by another archbishop. But I look forward to that day when the successor comes and he is able to say, I prepared the office well for my next, for the next Archbishop. I say it again, there is no success if you do not prepare a successor. And the task at hand, because we will die, is that we must multiply ourselves. We must multiply ourselves so that when the time comes for us to face sister death, we can say, I have fought a good fight. I have run the race. I have kept the faith. Brother priests, brothers and sisters in Christ, memento mori. Remember death. Remember that everything is vanity and everything will disappear like vapor. Everything will disappear like dust. Remember that when death comes to us, death is a gift of mercy. It is a relief that we will no longer be walking in the valley of tears. We will be walking with God in heaven forever. Memento Mori is a challenge for us to multiply ourselves, to look forward to the successor, and make life more easy for the successor, for the one coming after us. Because that is the best legacy we can entrust to those we will leave behind. Let us not leave problems. Let us live worthwhile legacies. And the best legacy we can leave behind is to leave behind footprints of saints. And let that saint be all of us.